I've been working in cybersecurity for over 12 years and I love it. It's a very rewarding career and there are lots of opportunities if you put in the work. In this video, I'm going to share three signs, three attributes that in my experience suggest cybersecurity could be a great career for you. And number three might just surprise you. Number one, if you have a growth mindset, if you fundamentally believe that your talents, your skills and your knowledge are fixed, then cybersecurity may not be the right career for you. In cybersecurity, we need to be constantly learning. And so it's important to embrace a mindset where you understand you can always learn more, you can always develop and you can tackle complex problems. This field can be a demanding and stressful career. And so by adopting a growth mindset, it can actually help you ward off burnout. The good news, if you find that your mindset is quite fixed, you can still develop a growth mindset. It's not something that you have to stay with. Pay attention to your internal narrative and start to reframe some of the ways that you think about things. So rather than seeing challenges everywhere and seeing things that you don't know, recognize those as opportunities and areas where you can learn and grow. If you identify areas that you don't know much about, could be anything from Linux to psychology, then instead of talking down to yourself, instead of you know feeling bad or seeing those as limitations, instead see them as a guide for what you can learn about. Start breaking those subjects down and applying yourself to finding out more about them. There are so many resources out there, including lots of free ones. So don't let your own mindset be the thing that stops you broadening your horizons and developing. A growth mindset, in my experience, is fundamental to a successful, sustainable career in cybersecurity. Sign number two, that cybersecurity might be a career for you. You're interested in technology. I don't come from a background in technology. My background is in sociology, politics, and civic design. So I am not saying you need to be deeply, purely technical to work in cybersecurity. Nor am I saying you need to have all of the latest gadgets or do all of your tweets in Base64. If you are very deeply technical, then that's great, but you don't have to be to work in cybersecurity. So am I contradicting myself here? No, of course not. You don't have to be deeply technical. You don't have to be purely focused on technical issues in cybersecurity, but I do believe and I find that having an interest in technology is pretty fundamental to working in this field. And we need to leave behind this very narrow definition of what we see as being technical. For me, my interest in technology comes into play into how people interact with technology, the impact of the internet on society and on how we interact with one another, what that means in terms of cybersecurity. As part of the awareness raising work that I do with companies, I also love taking deeply technical topics in cybersecurity and breaking them down, translating them and the important parts, the relevant parts for audiences that would probably describe themselves as non-technical. The third sign that a career in cybersecurity could be right for you, you're interested in humans. People often think that cybersecurity is only a technical subject, but that's not true at all. Why are we focused on cybersecurity? It's not about protecting the technology, the information itself. It's about really protecting the people at the other end of that. Protecting people, enabling businesses, making communities and countries safer and more secure. Cybersecurity is where technology meets people, and this is increasingly being recognized by the field at large. That how we design and implement cybersecurity needs to be people centric. If you're thinking, well, I love the idea of working in cybersecurity, but I'm not sure about my people skills. I'm not sure I have much empathy. The good news is that you can develop that. 
In fact, when it comes to empathy, just wanting to have more empathy has been shown by research as being one of the first things, one of the most important things in actually developing more empathy. For more on this, watch my video on empathy in cybersecurity, why I think it's the most underrated skill in this field and what you can do to develop more empathy if that's something you're interested in. If you want to understand more about all aspects of cybersecurity and particularly how they relate to people, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. The second edition of my number one best-selling book, Confident Cybersecurity, is out now. It is for anyone who wants to learn more about this fast-moving field, especially if you're looking to advance your career.